Hello everyone, my name is Thomas Kim. Today is January 31st, 2019. This is 35th episode about template metaprogramming. In this session, we will learn matrix multiplication. This session continues from my previous video, template metaprogramming 34, optimizing C++ programming multidimensional matrix 2. Please click this link because this session continues from my previous video. If you haven't watched it, please watch it. And also download the source code. This source code, double click it. When I designed this dynamic array, I haven't considered about matrix multiplication or matrix manipulation. But in some future sessions, I may optimize my class for matrix manipulation only. For more advanced matrix multiplication, please click this link. Watch this video, Strassen Matrix Multiplication, also this video. In some future sessions, I will implement these algorithms in C++ language. In your download folder, please unzip it. Rename the folder name to O4. And in this folder, Remove two files, matrix CPP and matrix conventional. Shift delete, just remove them. And rename matrix modern CPP. Test matrix, like this. Copy the folder. and paste it to your working folder. Click the folder, copy the folder pass on your command prompt properties, paste the start if start in folder pass, then click OK, then start visual source code. File, open folder, Paste the folder pass, then select folder. Click this button, then you will have files like this. I will create a file, talk playpon matrix.h if not the EF talk playpon matrix underscore h and if and over here define like this control v then here select all control c copy all in this file, paste all. And from from the bottom, scroll up. Then up to this point, delete. Then scroll up. Here. We will put namespace like this. Namespace talk play fun and scroll down here put the namespace close the namespace and select all it's quite big pile up to this point tap to indent like this. And here select select like this to the bottom. Here delete. Then include Talk play fun. 
matrix then here we have to change talk play font like this once then done we can just change like this now let's build in command prompt dir cl ehsc std c17 test matrix dot cpp fe m e x e okay it should build successfully this is the state of our last application now we will add matrix multiplication in the scala scala matrix multiplication operator this is scala matrix multiplication and before here private public template type name t struct is matrix sd static context peer bool value pulse don't forget semicolon here copy once again paste here matrix t then change it to true with this here inside this multiplication function using r type t like this talk play pun remove constant reference provide this parameter like this if context peer we are using this type function like this and this value this means this parameter this type is matrix okay else else means it's scalar so i will copy this code cut and paste it here this part scala matrix multiplication this part is matrix matrix multiplication matrix matrix multiplication first we need to test assert this md size it should be two first it should be two dimensional matrix and right right is this parameter also should be two dimensional matrix two and the, this matrix should be component should be compatible for mul multiplication one right md zero for matrix multiplication compatibility test then size t team zero this md 
zero size t team one right md one size t n this md one We create a matrix M team zero team one four size T I equals zero I less than team team zero plus plus I four size T j equals zero j less than dim one plus plus j matrix m i j element t we initialize for size t k equals zero k less than n plus plus k m i j equals this operator i k times right k j this is typical matrix multiplication we will optimize this part in some future sessions. Here, yeah. this STD move M return this. Okay, we created the one matrix multiplication. Then we will create a helper function. At the end of the file here, before namespace, I will copy this part. Make unit matrix. Unit matrix. Okay. Here, I will remove this part. For unit matrix to work, it should be square matrix like this. Then it should be square matrix like this. Matrix T M. We created the square matrix. Then for size t i equals zero, i less than first plus plus i for size t j equals zero, j less than first plus plus j m i j equals equals i equals j then it is one else zero we are making unit matrix then return M. Okay. Let's test with the unit matrix first. Here. Talk play pun. Make unit matrix three by three. This is three by three unit matrix. Let's build build it. So we have to provide type double
okay so this is 3 by 3 unit matrix matrix A is defined 3 by 3 like this then we introduce another matrix D or D equals A then we try A times A this is A times A matrix then we display matrix A again here like this now let's see M so this is this is initially matrix and matrix A is multiplied matrix A to test it let's define one more operator here so uh, you should find matrix 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 operation this is matrix matrix operation we will copy this part I copied and paste then change it to mul matrix multiplication and I will disable this part I simply removed and we will copy multiplication code we will copy this code and modify I copied the code then paste it here this is matrix multiplication this should be X should be M1 M1 like this I will modify all occurrence of this to M1 this should be M1 this should be M1 and this should be M1 like this and right should be M2 M2 I copied pasted M2 sorry M2 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 and we just return M mm. now let's try let's test this function here in this file matrix D this is 3 by 3 matrix 3 by 3 and C is 3 by 3 unit matrix so we can multiply A with C then we have D so D should be the same with A okay because we multiplied with identity matrix D. okay now let's try it okay now let's see a this is matrix a this is matrix D they are exactly the same element wise they are the same so the matrix multiplication works successfully and we can multiply a like this too okay because this is 3 by 3 okay so this is a times a okay now let's improve this algorithm a little bit this matrix multiplication algorithm a little bit we need to introduce transpose matrix transpose here I will introduce one operator matrix transpose 
I will introduce it here matrix transpose it should be constant assert it should be two dimensional array m t size should be two two dimensional array matrix m this md1 this md0 we have to swap the dimension then for size ti equals 0 i less than this md0 plus plus i for size tj equals 0 j less than this md1 plus plus j now we are transposing mj i equals this operator ij then return m we are transposing matrix now let's test this transpose this is matrix a then we can make matrix d like this transpose transpose So matrix A is transpose of A. Okay. So this is matrix A. 1, 2, 3, 1, 7, 1, 4, 7. So 1, 4, 7. 2, 5, 8. 2, 5, 8. So matrix A is transposed properly. Using this transpose, we can improve multiplication. Using this transpose, we can improve multiplication like this. Matrix, this is matrix multiplication. This is the usual, usual way of matrix multiplication, but we can improve it by introducing transpose like this. This is R type. I say Oro MM right transpose. Okay, we introduced MM transpose. Copy. Now we can modify this part of code like this. I will copy this code once again. I copy it, then I disable it. Here, instead of this, mm, jk, jk, okay, this is transposed matrix. This actually speed up. This code is more efficient than the conventional one, traditional one, because in this case, memories are aligned and the cache, cacheable. These matrix this matrix and this matrix matrix memories are cacheable so this code is more efficient and also I will modify this code here we introduce another matrix Oro MM M2 transpose for small matrix we cannot achieve noticeable improvement, but the matrix becomes huge. It improves quite a lot. And J, K, we transposed. 
Now let's build and run. Okay. So now let's test with the matrix multiplication. We will create a matrix. This is 3 by 3 matrix. And I will create another one. 3 by 4, for example. And I create matrix B, B, 4 by 4 by 3, like this. Then we initialize matrix B. I copy this part. like this now it should decrease I will disable this part it should be a team 0 a team 1 here B team 0 B team 1 and it should be B and I will use minus minus okay now let's try matrix C will be A times B okay we display matrix A Matrix B and Matrix C. Now let's test. M. So this is Matrix A, one, two, three, something like this. This is Matrix B. This, this is 3 by 4, this is 4 by 3, okay? This is 3 by 4, 4 by 3, and the result is this matrix. If we want to test the validity, how can we test the validity? We need inverse matrix, but I won't, I won't do that. Instead, I will create a matrix. 3 by 4, 3 by 4 by 3 unit matrix. No. I will create this 3 by 4 by 4. Then I will make a unit matrix. Unit matrix. Then 3 by 4 by 4. 4 by 4. This is unit matrix. Then I delete this part. Then A times B. B is unit matrix. Then we can test the result using unit matrix. Make unit, no matching overload function found. Why? I have to remove this part. Say this is unit matrix, this is A, B, C. So A and C are identical. Okay, so they, the multiplication is correct. I hope you enjoyed this video. So we implemented matrix matrix multiplication in this session. We implemented matrix matrix multiplication in this session so far we have defined matrix addition matrix subtraction scalar matrix multiplication matrix scalar multiplication and 
Scala Matrix Division, Matrix Scala Division, and also implemented Matrix Matrix Multiplication. In some future sessions, I will implement the Strassen Matrix Multiplication Algorithm. By replaying this video, I will implement the Strassen Matrix Multiplication. Also, matrix chain multiplication or dynamic programming in some future sessions. Please subscribe to my YouTube channel. Thank you for watching.